So what's up guys, Paul Salmon here. If I look like there's a lot less of me these days, I've lost about uh, 35 pounds in the last three months, been on a low carb diet, so that's why my appearance looks like I don't have cancer, at least I don't think I do. Anyway, lost about 35 pounds. Next video we're gonna talk about is uh, icing up of helicopter blades uh, in flight. And <clears throat> it can happen. So had this happen one other time to me in an R44, uh, where we actually flew around it, uh, I'd went, uh, gone to pick up a, a, a student, and while I was waiting for him to show up at another airport, uh, fog moved in. Visibility was about uh, a half mile to a mile, so we decided that we just uh, pick up the aircraft and hover taxi up and down the taxiway until the fog cleared. During that time, a significant amount of ice accrued on the blades that we were unaware of because we had the heat on inside the R44, so no ice was actually showing up on the, on the uh, windshield. When we went to take off, uh, <clears throat> we're on climb out, and uh, a bunch of the ice actually turned loose on the blades, but not an equal amount off each blade, which put the blades out of uh, balance and produced a significant amount of shaking to the aircraft. So kicked the thing around, brought it back in, and uh, put it back on the taxiway and shut it down quickly. And unfortunately, that was about five or six phones ago, so I've lost those photos, but, uh, uh, you know, it can happen. So the other day, uh, Megan was out with a student. They were in the R-22. This occurs basically when you have some visible moisture in the air, slight fog, um, and the temperatures are close to freezing. Can be slightly, a few temperatures, a few degrees uh, below freezing, say 30 to 32 degrees is when this is most likely to happen. So, so they went out to do the same thing. There was forecast weather coming in. They went out and went on to the uh, uh, grass out here south of the hangar and just practice did a bunch of hover practice and in the meantime again They had the heat on inside the cabin So no ice was forming on the plexiglass and windows to see and uh, they actually formed ice on the blades and uh, uh, Brought the thing back over to the ramp and shut it down real quickly And uh, so this time I took some pictures of it and uh, so let's take a look at those We're doing a video of here is icing that formed on the, about the first four foot of the blade from the root out. You can see it there on the leading edge on this side. And uh, so in case you're wondering, will ice form on a rotor blade that's spinning? Yes, it will. Here's evidence of it. Let me go around to the other side. We'll video it. You can see there, same thing, we've got ice. They were flying the R-22 and then uh, the ice decided to turn loose and when it turns loose like that it gets uh, gets out of balance and uh, you're definitely aware of it at that point so anyway so let's look at the tail rotor and see if there's any ice on it and the tail rotor does have some ice on it a very thin sheet of ice let me back up a little bit so you can see that on the tail rotor and leading edge on the other side you can see the ice forming on the pitch links here as well that was all spinning and uh, back up a little bit you can see ice forming on the leading edge of the tail rotor blade as well and uh, you know the temperature is right at freezing and i'll scan around here and let you look it looks a little bit foggy, but not terrible. There's just enough moisture in the air, and the temperature is just right that if you hover around, what they were doing was hovering the aircraft, that you can actually accumulate ice on the blades and the tail rotor blades. And again, when it comes loose, it puts the uh, whole thing out of balance and uh, makes for a significant vibration. So. Okay, so there you have it. You can actually get ice on your blades while you're flying. Uh, and <clears throat> again, if you have the heat on in the aircraft, you may be accumulating ice on the blades and be uh, unaware of it uh, because uh, you know the heat will keep the uh, windows defrosted. You may not show up any uh, visible icing there. So something to think about if you're operating with any amount of visible moisture uh, where you're at or just below uh, freezing temperatures. So, Well, I hope this was helpful to you. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next video.